it's 5.35 in the morning. I guess it's time for an adventure. About ready to go on a two and a half hour drive to go hiking. Isn't that right, Matthew? Yes. It better be worth it. We are not quite at our destination, but we pulled over to look at that. Actually, let me let me give you a better view. I had to. I'm gonna make this a little darker for you. Check that out, people. So, Matthew and I have made it to the trailhead, and while I knew this was a possibility, I wasn't quite expecting there to be snow. Um, this might be an interesting hike down to the lake. So, uh, a couple of sweaters, and uh, I think we're gonna do this. <laughs> um, this is why you don't hike in November, but we're gonna make the best out of it. Let's get this. This was so worth the 5 a.m. get up. It wasn't when I got up to 5 a.m. And it never is, but it is right now. Ladies and gentlemen, we are here. We have made it to Woo! Blue Lake. This is why I love nature. The beauty. God's craftsmanship on display right there. Man. So the question I'm pondering today is, can we imagine a creation that's not fallen? Matthew brings up a good point. This is so beautiful. How much more beautiful would a world without sin look like? One of the reasons I love coming out here and being out in nature is it just draws me closer to God. I mean, places like this, like Blue Lake here in Cascade, Idaho, I look at creation and I look at all the thought that went into design and just looking, ugh, like at this pine tree, like, I don't know if I could ever come up with something like that. Like, God is just everywhere in his creation and I love just, enjoying it and enjoying it with him like I just get to hang with God and bask in beautiful sunrises and gorgeous lakes and vistas and snow-capped mountains it's also an adventure like I love going on adventures and I love exploring and I believe that God made us to explore we were supposed to go out and you know subdue and tame the earth and so I think hiking kind of does that for me I just kind of feel closer to God because I'm closer to his creation, I'm outside the hustle and bustle of the city and things that man have built. And I think Albert Einstein kind of said it best. He said, look deep into nature, then you will understand everything better. And when I look deep into nature, I just kind of understand God better. I tried to build my first snowman of the season, but the snow is way too icy and hard, so, um, that'll do. Fall colors, a beautiful sunrise, a lake, snow, and now this, a waterfall? Does it get much better than that? Not only is there snow on the ground, but if you look really close, I don't know if the camera will pick it up, tiniest of snowflakes. It's the first snow of the year, Matthew. It's the first snow of the year. Matthew does not agree with that statement. Not excited for the first snow? Mm, it's okay, it's pretty to look at. That means I get to go snowboarding soon. Au revoir, Blue Lake. It's been fun. 
But we are cold and we are hungry. So uh, off to the Banks Cafe to go get some grub. Yep, definitely some sort of wild animals out here, probably a cougar. And uh, we ain't talking about older women, no. No. The hike down to Blue Lake, great, it's all downhill. The hike back, it's all uphill. And it's preventing me from getting to a breakfast burrito. Maybe, Matthew, maybe God's trying to teach us a lesson. No, that sometimes in life, you just gotta, you gotta push through the uphills. And once, once you get to the top, there's scrumptious treasure, like, like a breakfast burrito. Yeah. And coffee. Yeah. And coffee. Hot coffee. Yes. We get you, God. We see you. Well, unfortunately, the Banks Cafe was closed. So, but we went somewhere else to go grab some breakfast, gonna grab some food, some coffee. I'm so glad you joined us and exploring Blue Lake, Idaho. I had a blast checking it out. If you liked the video, hit like, subscribe, and I look forward to going on more adventures and see you around in the future. Bye. It's so weird vlogging. I feel like an idiot talking to a camera.